and down goes the kissing lady, which is her name from now on, because who the hell knows how to pronounce that name? Slow dissolve like a boss. We'll be seeing a lot of those. <laughs> yes, you get 20 ability points for that, like I said. You remember all the monsters we had to go through? I'm pretty sure each one of those we have to fight. I don't think we get around any of those fights. Then we get an elf cloak. Are you kidding me? An elf cloak? That's like the first accessory that I got in the game. And you're giving it to me now. Can I go in here now? Is there... Wait, this is actually the way forward. Now I am a little confused. What is down here then? Can't can't open oh there's a switch right there uh. either way i think i need to go back to the safe point just in case i have plenty of cottages i might as well and i will meet you back here when i decide which way that i want to go well down out of here is actually a shortcut out so that is not the way that i want to go so let us head up here and try to go up those stairs are, are there going to be new enemies here? There aren't. No, we saw the, we saw the red dragon. Yeah, we saw him. All right, I have changed my party around just a little bit. Everybody is now on coral rings, and Krill has the white magic brought forward. This isn't the best setup against this guy, but I think it will do nicely. Uh, this guy is rather tough. That's as far as you go. Beyond is where the power of the void is contained. You shall not enter. And it is boss time. And like I said, he is one of the tougher fights in this dungeon. This is Trin Twintania. Uh, I think it's... Oh, Flame Shield. I'll take it. Um, I don't know exactly why he's called Twin. I assume maybe it's because he's got the four horns instead of just the two. Uh, but and it, there just being one of him... Kind of, kind of throws me off a bit. Tidal wave. That's the reason. Everybody has core rings. And then he just went ahead and did that kind of damage anyway. How dare you? Okay, we're gonna go for some of our most powerful magics while trying to keep everybody as high HP as possible. Pretty much 1,200 is the standard right now. That is where everybody needs to be. 1,200. That is minimum. Um, this guy is particularly weak to holy, so it's kind of upsetting that uh, Krill can get her attack off. Uh, so if you want to use Excalibur, Holy Lance, uh, the Holy Sword ability uh, with S-Shot with the Excalibur, oh, that'd be awesome. Uh, but I, I didn't set up my party that way. Adam Ray, that didn't seem to do anything. Okay, yeah, he doesn't have anything to steal. I need to stop mugging. Okay, holy spell. Go. Work for me, baby. How much damage does it do? Enough. Um, <laughs> it, does, it does almost 6,000. Uh, however, this guy has a ton of HP. I mean, I think it is to this point the most that we've encountered. I could be wrong about that, but it is up there. It is, it is up there. Might have been somebody else with a little bit more HP. Uh, but he also has an ability that can one-shot me. He has both Mega Flare and Giga Flare. Giga Flare will kill me if he uses it. I am not high enough of a level. Hey, thanks for the heal. You think he would learn. But no, they are not that smart in this game. Mind Blast! Brain Suck. How dare you. How dare you, sir. So it is up to Reyna, apparently, until everybody else can get healed. There, everybody's out. Wind Slash shouldn't finish me off. It doesn't. What am I doing? There's nothing more, so let's just do that. Tidal Wave! Thanks for the heal! Oh, Coral Rings make this so much easier. Okay, let's go for Flare. And then we can also go for Holy when we get the chance. Which is now... Wait, oh god. <laughs> Almost casted a rise. That would not have been good. That would have been a waste of a ton of a MP for nothing. There we go. 6,000 damage. That is more than what Bart's is doing. It is by 
about a thousand, a little bit less than a thousand, but it's still more, damn it. Krill is definitely my biggest damage dealer when she can do damage. And that is kind of a, a big if, even though I didn't say if. You can keep doing that all day. You, you keep doing that. Ugh, God, just fight. Critical, not a critical. But down goes Twintania. And I got lucky. Let's be honest. I got lucky in that fight because he never casted Mega Flare. He never casted Giga Flare. So, worked out for the best. Very nice. Yes, you get 24 ability points for that. Burst is getting ever so close <laughs> to that last job level up on Ninja. So close. So, so very close. Hey, no, I killed you. You have to go. You have to disappear. You slow dissolved. The hell do you think you're doing? Apparently, he turns into stairs upon death. He is an escalator. Okay, I'm going to go back to the save point. Uh, because, once again, why not? I think I still have 15 cottages. I'm going to make the... I'm going to use as many of those as I have to. So, I'll be back here. Oh, uh, healed. Well, no longer healed, but I have saved, and I have most of my MP back. But most importantly, Bartz did get that last job level for Ninja. Oh, and you better believe I brought that ability forward. He is bare now, so he can have both abilities. Two swords has been brought forward, and we have paired that with Ashot, of course. So now Bartz has equipped the Brave Blade and Excalibur. You better believe that I'll be using those four times every turn! Oh, I love this setup. I love this setup probably more than any other setup in the game. Just Brave Blade Excalibur, Brave Blade Excalibur. Oh, that's awesome. I bet we have new enemies so that I can absolutely destroy them with my new setup. We do! We have Furies, which I believe are new. Let's see how much I absolutely wreck these guys in the face. Don't hit the one in the back! That only does like less than half damage. There we go. That's roughly 3,000 damage. I'm rounding up a bit. But somewhere between like 2,800 and 3,000 damage that Bart was doing in that one attack. And of course, he can do that four times. You're a dick, you know that? S shot until dead. Stop hitting the one in the back. It's not, not nearly as impressive. That's what you were doing before. <laughs> there we go. So we're talking about 10 to 12 thousand damage every turn should he hit something in the front row every time. It is insane. I love it. Yes, you get 1821 gil, 1725 experience, 5 ability points for that fight. I will take it. And we are ready to move on. Uh, there are actually enemies in this dungeon that I forgot about. Uh, that Oh, doesn't seem to be anything here except for a war warp point. Uh, the enemies that I'm thinking about, they can give you a ton of ability points. So don't give up hope on maxing out job levels just yet. There are There is a way to do it, but um, they're kind of hard to find. And I don't like job level grinding necessarily around here. Is that who I think it is? I think it is. Let's go over here and get the match shuriken the hard way because I forgot to stop at the right point. And then we can head around and see if we can get over to him. Do we have new enemies? We... Oh shit, we do. We are up against the Behemoth King. Or Behemo King. He had a phoenix down on him. That's kind of nice. I, I could die here. <laughs> the Behemoth King is tough. I don't know if I was prepared for him. Hopefully my 12,000 damage per shot, you know, give or take, will will help here. You kidding me? You kidding me? All right, let's let's bring Ferris back. <laughs> this is not good. He gets a lot of turns at once. This is this is no bueno. Okay. S shot again, please. As long as you don't hit Bartz, that will that will be greatly appreciated if you just avoid him so I can do this massive amount of damage. <laughs> oh, God, look at that. Down he goes, like I thought. Just took a little bit of effort there. All right, 1,000 gil, 20 ability points for that fight. That is not the one that I was thinking of that gave you a massive amount of ability points. The one I'm thinking of gives you, I think, 
just under 200 ability points for one fight. Hold on while I heal everybody! Alright, I have healed. I've also switched Reyna over to a thief, so we can sprint everywhere. God, it's just so damn fast. Uh, I also get rid of the thief's gloves, because we're... well, it's Gilgamesh! What do you want, Gilgamesh? <laughs> he wants to fight, of course. So, it is fight time. Uh, we get the first strike. Reyna gets the first strike. Steal. He has the Genji shield, the last piece of Genji equipment. So you want to make sure that you get that. Now, um, if I wanted to, I could have risked not uh, healing and, and used this battle as an opportunity to heal. Uh, but I kind of, I kind of didn't want to risk it. As you see, Chocobo be useless. Actually, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Uh, but. I didn't want to risk it, you know, I wanted to play it relatively safe. Uh, so we already stole from him, let's just fight, I think she's got the assassin dagger, but really, Bart is what is going to, is who's going to be doing the most amount of damage, but I don't think damage is really that important in this fight, I think it's just a matter of time. Uh, you, he can hit you. Ah, Bart's? You're Bart's, right? Now, honestly, I think this is the end of the fight. If you are, then say so! These ghosts are rough. I can't find the exit. I think I'm gonna cry. Where did you come from? What's your sign? Virgo, what does that matter? It's a sucky sign, I know. <laughs> okay, now we can go back. Let's get out of here. Yeah, you're right. If we make it through, I'm sure we'll meet again. Then I'll be one of you. <laughs> Never mind. Bye. And that's the fight! Um... Not exactly sure how much of a fight that was, but off he goes. He didn't even attack us. He can. He does like a thousand damage. Um, hold on, while I rearrange my party again. I don't want to. I don't want to keep a thief with me. I just wanted the shield. 